Now we shall see the working of MOSFET that is in MOSFET. So let us uh, first begin with the uh, theory part of the MOSFET. So let us try to identify what is the uh, basic basics of MOSFET. So let me just go through a few slides here before you go to simulation. So let me just go to next slide. Now this is a MOS capacitor as we discussed in the class. So we have a uh, metal structure, so which is M. So this is a, a oxide layer, which is an insulator, which is uh, at the uh, bottom most we have the silicon, which is P-type. Now when you apply a voltage a plus onto the uh, metal plate, a conducting plate, so because of capacitive action, we're going to have the negative charges being accumulated uh, being collected at the other end of the capacitor now this is the channel of electrons suppose if you provide a potential between this end and the other end so as it is mentioned here the current starts flowing so this is the basics uh, of, of a MOS capacitor upon having uh, two conductors on either side we're going to have the current flow due to the existence of channel for which both voltages are required so v1 is a voltage which is required to form the channel v2 is a voltage to make sure that there's a potential difference so that this channel is utilized to uh, utilized for the flow of current so let us proceed now now this is actual structure of a mosfet as we saw there so in the previous uh, uh, description so this is your uh, gate structure which is uh, the mass which is the metal so you can see this is the insulator which is being represented here so there is a semiconductor so which is p substrate now this is uh, the n plus which is representing the source and this is another n plus representing the drain so this is a three dimensional view of the mosfet the cross sectional view of the mosfet is given over here so this is a cross section view of the MOSFET so the symbol of the MOSFET is given here so you can see there is an arrow representing the source this is the drain, this is the gate structure so this is the uh, structure, side view and the symbol so let us have a look at uh, what are the typical dimensions of a MOSFET so you can see here the length uh, is between the source and the drain which happens to be in terms of nanometer and this is the oxide thickness which is in terms of uh, 18 Armstrong the width of the uh, transistor varies from application to application so that is depending on the uh, circuit you are looking at so let me just uh, go back and try to find out what is okay this is uh, the dimensions of the present uh, transistor so this is uh, the length which is 19 nanometer the thickness of the oxide layer which is in terms of Armstrong this is the width of the transistor so this is what a typical transistor looks like so let us go back to simulation try to find out how do we get the components okay these are the typical dimensions of uh, uh, present uh, uh, MOSFET dimensions so we, we shall go back to uh, simulation and then try to find out okay how do we uh, do a simulation of a MOSFET device now we shall take the MOSFET and then try to simulate it. So we know that all the components are there in this uh, icon component. So let us search for the NMOS uh, structure. So as you can see there is transistor. So you can see there is a PMOS4. So similarly there is a NMOS4. Let us take this NMOS4. So description says that it is an N channel. MOSFET transistor with explicit substrate connection used for monolithic MOSFETs. So let me select this. So this is the MOSFET. So we, we can certainly make out the terminals. So this is the gates terminal. So this is uh, the drain. This is the bulk. This is the source. So usually uh, the one which is uh, close to the gate happens to be the source so this is gate the one which is 
close to the gate is the source terminal the other one is drain of course uh, the middle one is the bulk so let us uh, try to see how do we simulate it for that let us have the two sources and then connect them you can see the MOSFET is selected and uh, we have selected two sources V1, V2 one is between a gate and the source the other source V2 is between uh, the drain and the source so we need to specify uh, the MOSFET specifications so before that uh, we shall see the working of MOSFET in the slides and then come back to the simulation so let me uh, see the slides of the MOSFET now you can see this is a MOSFET operation so let me just uh, just try to see how does the MOSFET works. So in, in, the, in the previous slide, we have seen the typical MOSFET dimensions and the uh, structure. Now this is, as you can see here, so uh, gate voltage is applied with respect to source. But however, uh, the drain to source voltage is made as zero. So, so under such condition, suppose if positive voltage is applied, so you can see now there is a negative ions are there near the interface so this is going to form the depletion region as over here so this is possible when you apply a small gate voltage if the gate voltage is slightly increased now because of this positive voltage on one side of the capacitor we end up with the negative charged carriers which is in the form of electrons being accumulated here so as you can see here this is a this was a depletion region when uh, the gate to source voltage is small so here there's a negative charges on one plate so due to the positive charge on the other plate of the capacitor now this is the depletion uh, region so if you further increase the uh, gate voltage uh, the more positive voltage is now replaced is uh, rep is resulting in more amount of negative charges on the other plate of the capacitor in the form of more electrons over here so this is you can see there are more number of electrons so this is the formation of the channel now the channel is ready between uh, the source and the drain if we apply the potential between the source and the drain now this channel will help for the flow of current see you now so this is the MOSFET IV characteristics now in this particular characteristics uh, uh, you can see here so there is a gate to source voltage applied so you can see the source is made zero this is also a uh, ground meaning that th there is a gate gate to source voltage applied and there is a voltage vd which is applied between the drain and the source so this is how it is connected this is exactly the circuit what we have connected in the simulation suppose for a constant uh, drain to source voltage if you change VGS this is how the uh, graph of your ID versus VG will look like so initially till some point the current is zero if the gate voltage is beyond the threshold voltage now this is this is zero to so whatever we have between so this and this so is, is the uh, depletion region where channel is not at form the voltage is more than the threshold voltage there is a channel formation then we can expect some current flowing due to the presence of VD so this is ID versus VG plot similarly we can also see ID versus uh, VD plot here uh, VG is applied which is greater than the threshold voltage now the VDS is varied so drain voltage is increased with respect to source so as that as you increase the value of drain voltage for a given gate voltage this is the increase in the current it's almost a linear increment so the inverse of the slope is nothing but the on resistance now this is uh, again the plot of uh, id versus vd for different gate voltages vg1 vg2 vg3 so which is exactly the same as this so the difference between uh, figure c and d is this is for a particular gate voltage this is for different gate voltages so we shall go back to simulation and then try to have a look at okay how do we simulate such type of structure so in continuation with the simulation so as we saw in the working of MOSFET so there should be a voltage between gate and the source for the channel creation so there should be a voltage between 
the drain and the source so that uh, in the created channel between source and drain there is a possibility of current flow so for that we are supposed to specify the uh, MOSFET parameters so as you have seen in the MOSFET parameters we are supposed to specify the dimensions of the transistors and some uh, parameters of a transistor so that can be specified using this uh, spice directive the default directive default uh, directives for a MOSFET is dot model so I need to specify dot model dash okay a space next it is nmos space nmos then again a space open the parenthesis now we are supposed to specify the parenthesis uh, some of the parameters one of the parameter is kp so let us put it equal to 200 micron so kp is the uh, constant having unit uh, ampere per volt square and then uh, let us also specify what is the threshold voltage VTO which is uh, the defined value defined parameter to specify the threshold voltage VTO is equal to 0 0.4 volts so these are the physical parameters of a transistor having the KP and V2 as mentioned here so this is the dimensions now we need to specify the uh, dimensions like W and L for that you click on the device now here you can specify the dimension of the transistor so let us put it as uh, 10 micrometer as the uh, length so this is 10 micrometer 10 U so let us specify the width as 100 micrometer so user can specify what is the length and the width whereas the thickness cannot be specified so thickness by default will be specified in that kp value so kp value actually includes the thickness of your transistor so let us specify these are the dimensions now this mosfet has a kp of 200 micrometer micro ampere per volt square vto is threshold voltage is 0.4 the dimensions are length is equal to 10 micrometer and width is equal to 100 micrometer so let us again go back to uh, slides and then have a look at okay how do we uh, simulate this one how do we uh, understand the simulation of this so before we proceed with the uh, iv characteristics so as you can see here in the iv characters of mosfet in order to obtain a uh, characteristics it is id versus vg which is the uh, input characteristics because uh, th sorry this is the transfer characteristics where you are considering the output current and the input voltage and you have one more characteristics which is id versus vd so which is the output characteristics so as you can see in both the cases you are varying the uh, gate voltage and in the second case it is the drain voltage so in the first case uh, the drain voltage is kept constant and vg is varied here the VGS is kept constant and VDS is varied. So let us see how does the variations of ID will look like. So as you can see here, this is uh, for different length of the transistor. If the length is small, you're going to have a larger current, keeping all other parameters constant. If the length is increased, the current decreases. So it is uh, the same thing over here. So this is uh, true for both ID versus VG as well as ID versus VDS. So here you can see uh, this is the thickness. So as the thickness actually increases, so this is uh, the current is again reducing. So increase in thickness is nothing but the value of KP is reducing. So we will try to relate what is KP and uh, how does KP and T ox are related. Now we shall look for the okay we we look for the mosfet operation in the next video as time is running out we shall stop here and then look for the simulation in the next video